The episode where we specifically learn about what the Thompsons did to the Frenzellis really, really kind of, you know, gets you in your feels. We sort of get to see the Thompsons as villains. <laughs> It's Kristen and today we are talking about part two of Netflix's series No Good Nick. Now one of the things that I really enjoyed about this show is that it is not your typical family sitcom. It has this like serialized mystery con man kind of story that's going on that is just really different for a family sitcom. No Good Nick is about a family who finds their lives turned upside down when a young street smart girl shows up at their door claiming to be a distant relative but it turns out it's all a con. I'm in. In the last half of the season, Jeremy was really suspicious of Nick, and we got this big reveal at the end of part one that kind of showed that Nick might not really be who she says she is. This season picks up right where that left off, and we just kind of see all of the detail that goes into the scam of making sure the Thompsons believe Nick and keep her in their house. Consider subscribing if you like my videos, and drop down in the comments and let me know what you thought about this half of No Good Nick. And I would say one of the biggest differences between the last half of the season and this part is that we are really diving into the truth of why Nick is doing this. And I think in the first half of the season, you know, we feel for the Thompsons. We're like, oh, why is she scamming this family? And in this part, we sort of get to see the Thompsons as villains a bit. You really start feeling for Nick, and you also get to see the struggle that she's dealing with of obviously wanting revenge, wanting to get back at these people who really ruined her life, but also you know, loving this family that's taking care of her and that they love her too. And she really is trying to figure out, is there a way that I can, you know, get them to apologize, make it so that I can forgive them and we can move on and we can be a family versus me having to kind of get revenge on them. The episode where we specifically learn about what the Thompsons did to the Frenzellis really, really kind of you know, gets you in your feels. There were a lot of like fun mysteries this season. We got introduced to some more new characters. I think they do a really great job of kind of setting up a whole bunch of different scams in this season and kind of switching them up and kind of giving you these twists that you're not expecting. And you know, diving into the these characters a bit more, I think we see Molly really has a lot of control issues and friendship issues this season. She finally starts to understand that that's something that's her own fault, that she's kind of bringing this negative energy out into the world and causing all these problems by not being a good friend. We get to see Jeremy go on this journey of kind of discovering his sexuality and actually becoming closer with Nick and not seeing her as a threat to his family anymore. We see Liz and just how cutthroat she can be when it comes to achieving her dreams. And then Ed, who I, I think we really got to see a great bond between him and Nick this season. He is someone that kind of reminds me of my own dad, very goofy and fun, and I really felt for him, especially when he learned the truth about this big con. And um, you could just see it really hurt him. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about the show is the depth to a lot of these characters that there's kind of more than meets the eye. This is a family of good people, but they've done bad things as well. And just like Nick is supposed to be set up as like the villain of the show because obviously she's supposed to be conning people but she's also the victim and so I really enjoy that balance and that duality of kind of seeing their stories and how honestly there really is no uh, good or bad person everybody kind of is doing things for their own benefit and they don't necessarily want to hurt people, but sometimes it happens in life. I also think that, you know, the way that this season was ending, I was like, okay, this could be the end of this show. You know, it seems like it's going to wrap things up very nicely in a little bow. But they did open up another mystery at the end of the season that I think really lends itself to another season, which is the fact that Nick's mom, who has passed, actually knew the Harbaughs, who is the original foster family that she was supposed to be with, this foster family that's kind of using her as a con artist. And so I think that that really opens up these questions of like, why did they know her mom? Is there, you know, a deeper conspiracy going on here? I personally would love to see them continue on the story and kind of dive into these other mysteries that we might not know about and also just see how Nick's relationship with the Thompsons will be moving forward now that they know her big secrets and they all kind of have to learn to forgive each other and I think that there were some really beautiful moments with this family as a whole especially the, the very last scene where we can see that even though Nick has made mistakes that family realizes that they've also made mistakes as well and they 
all love each other and you know it's just very like feel good very like sweet I will say though that for me well everyone feels like very solid characters they feel real the one character for me that still is just really not delivering is the character of Nick herself I feel like it's actually kind of sad because there are some really great moments and you're just like ah oh, this could go to a whole nother level if the actress who played Nick was strong she just feels really like Nickelodeon cheesy, like just not quite there. And actually, I do feel like it makes it a little bit harder sometimes to understand what her motivation is behind some of the things that she's doing. Some things feel like she's faking them when it's supposed to be an honestly sincere moment. Outside of that, I did have a lot of fun with this new half of No Good Nick. Again, I love the story and the mystery and how it's so different than your typical family sitcom. And I think the big highlights for me were episode 5 where we really got to learn more about what the Thompsons did to Nick and her family. And that finale where you know there's a lot of twists and turns going on and I think the way that they set up all of these different scams and everything is really fun and smart. If you like this video you can check out more of my reviews right over here and make sure to drop down in the comments and let me know what you thought about No Good Nick. See ya!